welcome you to the theater school at Florida State University. <laughs> we are so glad that you are here today. Um, I am a junior here at the school and I give tours to prospective students and their families. Let me tell you a little <coughs> bit. My son Tommy once did a one-man show of Richard III when he was in the fourth grade. <laughs> well that's remarkable. Congratulations Tommy. As I was saying, um, the theater school is very, very... Oh, my daughter, Sandra. This is my daughter. This is her middle school production of Not Afraid of the Studio Bull. <laughs> Bob will review said piece for us in the I'm sure she was. Well done, Martha. We'll call you Martha Tom. All right, um, so let's see. Oh, um, our faculty is internationally known, and many of our alumni go on to be actors, producers. My son Tommy, when he was in high school, designed the set for Lord of the Rings, the play. <laughs> the battle at Helm's Deep featured live pit bulls. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a stage production there of the Lord is. of the Rings. I have so many questions. First off, the hounds were... No, no, I have, to, I have to get back to this. I'm so, we'll, we'll talk later. Um, um, so the theater school, let's see. Oh, Last what? Last month, Sandra played the lead in the UV Community Theater production. <laughs> oh, that's a good <laughs> This bitch. Bringing a tear to my eye right now just listening about it. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, we have a, uh, a, a pro special programs where you can go to London. You just take a tour. At the end of his junior year, my son Tommy did the makeup for the Palatka Community Theater's production of Planet of the Apes, the musical. Yeah. For that, he won the coveted Golden Catfish Award. Yeah. Wait, wasn't that musical in The Simpsons? The Golden Catfish Award? Are you ladies making things up right now? Well, 
what's just wrong? Tell me what's what Matt James Lipton. Oh, I like him. He's the answer the what's left with him. Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, come on. No, I'm going to have really? to call your bluff on that there. one because oh, you were well, there. Tommy directed Ladies, an please, elementary please. school production of hair. Shh. Elementary school production of hair? Oh my goodness, uh, let me make something perfectly clear, okay? This is just a tour. I am just a tour guide. Nobody here has anything to do with admissions, okay? I'm very excited that you are proud of your children. I really am, but I have a job to do, and these people all came here to learn about the theater school, so if you would li please just let me go on with my presentation and confine yourself to questions. Thank you. <laughs> As I was saying, the theater school has many special pro- No, we do not. What about a track for winners of the Golden Catfish? This is catfish? unbelievable. Ladies, ladies, please. That's it. You're going to have to leave. What? Now, get out. Please, go, go. You have to leave. All right, Tommy, let's go. Oh, ladies, let's go. I'm, I'm really sorry. This happens. We normally have six, so it's very good that, that we only have But six. as Tommy once said in his groundbreaking production as Malvolio in Twelfth Night. Oh. I'll and be revenged on the whole pack of you. Tell them have to use any form of social media and hashtag us and like, promote the shit out of us. She deserves the golden catfish for that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you follow me backstage, I can show you where we build the sets and everything and how we put them up. Just right this way. back to my old place. Turns out if you stab a couple of bitches, everyone goes a little crazy. <laughs> oh, what? What? Oh, I'm so sorry. My friend needs me. No problem. Oh. Thank you. What the balls was that? I have no desire to be stabbed. I, I told you this was a bad idea. Special occasion. You know, you look, you look like a level-headed woman. I own the Innensbrook Corporation right up the road here. We could use a girl like you, you know, to keep the boys in line. Here's my card. Why don't you give me a call? Good. Oh, yeah, uh, I have to take this call. So, but please, give me a call, okay? Yes, thank you so Hello. much. God, did you see that? What was that? How did you do that? That is what happens when you open up to people. They naturally want to help you out. Your turn. Let's see. Um, see that guy over there? Go over and say hello. But, but I don't know him. Oh my God, just go. Do it, oh. just do what I just did. Go, go, go. Hi. I'm fine, thank you for asking. Shh. Oh, well, my friend 
Brandon and I would just decide to go out. I mean, no big deal. What? Yeah? Football! Oh. Okay. What? No! Oh. Did you see that play? Did you see that play? Oh Fuck God. yeah! Wesley. Yeah! Oh my God. Come Fucking A! Wesley. Yeah! Oh my God, Leslie, are you all right? I'm fine. Um, he tripped at me. Does, 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 does that mean he likes me? No, that just means he's being a dick. But I'll never, I'll never be like no, you, Melissa. You know what? Hold on to this. I'll be right back. Excuse me, sir. You owe my friends an apology. Holy shit! Did you see that play? What? It was awesome. No, hey, you, you like football? What? Yeah, my friend bailed on me for tomorrow's game. Want to go? Oh, well, I mean... Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 a minute here, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, you just chest bumped me when I tried to introduce myself Lady, to you. Lady, chill. Chill? Mm. I, mean, oh. I mean, Leslie, just calm down. I calm mean, down. it's... Calm down! Oh, calm down! Calm down, Leslie, what is wrong with you? I'll calm down, I'll calm down, I'll calm down right here. Hey, hey, can I borrow your knife? Good morning, Mr. Frick. <laughs> More coffee? Is Sam coming by to pick you up? Something wrong? Review is in the paper. Oh, is it good? Oh, he loved it. Well, great. What page? Five, the entertainment section. <clears throat> A great new play is on the main stage at Players by the Sea. The acting is first rate by the entire company. It's, it's a must-see. Well, honey, this is wonderful. <laughs> Keep reading. <laughs> In the lead role is an exciting actor, Bill Prick. <laughs> That's right. Maybe you missed it. You're married to a penis. Is it just here in this no, section? No, no, no. It's throughout and constantly. Prick is engaged with the audience. <laughs> the audience is mesmerized by Prick. You get the picture. Oh, honey, I'm sure people will just gloss over it. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't think so. This paper circulates for hundreds of miles. We're going to have to move. We're just going to have to move. I can't stay here anymore. I, I, maybe Savannah, I, I, Charleston, <laughs> Daytona sounds okay. Honey, no one reads the paper anymore. I, I bet you don't get any comments. Good morning. How we doing? Oh, you, you know, just trying to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how's America's favorite prick? <laughs> No one reads the paper, huh? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Oh, this is horrible. It's so frustrating because this was one of your most demanding roles. It was hard. <laughs> you were on stage for the entire play. It was long. <laughs> your delivery was so great. It was penetrating. Maybe I can ask for a correction. You mean erection. <laughs> All right, Mr. Funbags, that's just about enough out of you. I'm, uh, I'm just going to have to change my name. Yeah, how about uh, Joe Prick? Oh, just stop it. Uh, Honey, this is just so frustrating. I mean, you're, 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 you were so good. I'm sure you're going to be nominated for, what are those awards called? They're named after some bird. Oh, a, co a co cock. <laughs> stop it. This is just a disaster. <coughs> I give it my all. Mm -hmm. I perform my best, and now I'm nothing more than the town genital. <laughs> Wait, can you refer to it in the singular? I thought it had to be genital. <sighs> Again, with feeling. Fuck you. <laughs> look, we have to make lemonade out of lemons, okay? Now, look at all the comedians and, and the actors and the musicians today. No one is using their given names. They're going by hashtags, phrases, words. Uh, Lady Gaga. Yeah. CeeLo. Love her. Uh, the situation. It her too. No one is going to remember Bill Frick, but everyone is going to remember Bill Prick. <laughs> you just have to embrace this 
pardon the expression. <laughs> what are you, my agent? I mean, really, I'm never going to be considered for a serious role anymore. Are you kidding? You're a shoe in for Richard III. <laughs> well, I, Prick is pretty memorable. Hey, no small roles for you. <laughs> I've certainly never had any complaints. Huh, see? A standing ovation. All right. All right. That settles it. From now on, I'm Bill Prick. They call me hell. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this FSU line right now is giving me life right now. <laughs> They better work. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to top off your drink for you? Oh, yes, please. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, is this a 15 year McCowan? It sure is. I die. <laughs> 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 and this mushroom risotto you made? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> you know how I do. <laughs> I can't get over how good it is. I literally cannot. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> hey, hey, did you see the tits on that new girl in the office? Oh, I was like, yes, queen. <laughs> Praise the Lord for those things. <laughs> I was literally just about to say that. <laughs> Hashtag twinsies. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Put a dick in my mouth. <laughs> oh God, we should not have made them watch that marathon of RuPaul's Drag Race. That was a mistake. That was mistake number one. It's really had an interesting effect on their behavior. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey queens. queens. Hi. You, you better, better sissy that, that walk, walk right on over here. here. Uh, okay, yes! yes. 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 Sissy that walk. <laughs>
right, well, I hope you enjoyed that video that we just saw. It's going to be um, all about our topic today in this lecture. <clears throat> so let's get started. So you're all gathered here to learn about the public health crisis, the basic bitch. <laughs> there are several types of bitches, but what distinguishes the basic bitch from all the others? <laughs> from the boss bitch, from the bad bitch, from the dope bitch. First, let's talk about your entry-level basic bitches. These bitches act in very predictable ways. They are easy to spot uh, in public and on social media. They drink PSLs, or pumpkin spice lattes, yes. Or pumpkin spiced anything, really. Now, they love to Instagram pictures typical of fall, like changing leaves, boots, scarves, no matter the temperature. It could literally be 85 degrees outside with 85% humidity, and they will still throw on a puffy North Face jacket and Ugg boots. Their Netflix queue includes all the Hillary Duff movies and TV shows. <laughs> she cannot wait for the HBO to release the sex in the city. She will most definitely have at least four home decor with words on them, sometimes decoupaged by her own hands. <laughs> if you notice an inspirational quote from Marilyn Monroe in her bathroom, she is certainly a basic bitch. <laughs> but again, these are all very common signs of basicness, but some cases are extremely clever at hiding their basicness. So I would like to move on to the Q&A portion of our uh, lecture today. So if you have any questions, please Hey! Hey! Yes, hey. sir. Y yes, I, yes. Hey! Okay, sir, yep. Hey! Hey! Yes, sir, yes, So, yes. So I know sexy Halloween costumes are kind of lame, okay? Ex but when my girlfriend wears a sexy Snow White costume, it, it really turns my crank, if you know what I mean. I, I hardly have to think of my ex at all when she does that. Uh, so, so, so does, does, that make her a, does that make her a basic bitch? Huh, the sexy Halloween costume conundrum. Yes, she is definitely a basic bitch. But if you encourage such behavior, you, sir, are a douchebag. <laughs> Please beware the distinction. Uh, well, all right, okay, whatever. But hey, hey. Yes, yes, sir, hey, you've got my attention. So, so what, about, what about when she uses the word irregardless? <laughs> it, like, you know, like she uses it, like she uses it a lot. Like when we're arguing, like when we're arguing, she says irregardlessly, and, and it, it kind of makes me hate her. Not a pure sign of a basic bitch, but definitely a sign of a dumb bitch. <laughs> if uttered by the male gender, he would be categorized as an asshole. <laughs> Any other qu Yes, you, sir, with the claw hand. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> My girlfriend has a VW bug. She likes to put those fucking eyelashes <laughs> in the headlight. Ma makes it look like a goddamn eyeball. She, she says it looks like a face. She's turned her car into a face. <laughs> does, does that make her basic? Categorically basic, yes. I would take whatever means necessary to remove and discard of those horrible things. And I would recommend incineration. Hey! Oh, yes, sir. Hey! <coughs> hey! Hey, okay? my Meemaw! My Meemaw! Your Meemaw. She, she puts a little nose and antlers, you know, on her, on, on her minivan at Christmas, like mm -hmm. a cute little reindeer, reindeer minivan. <laughs> so, so, what, 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 are you saying my Meemaw is a basic bitch? Yes, indeed she is. See, this is what happens. 
When basic bitches are not quarantined and reprogrammed, they become basic blue hairs. Yes, sorry about your meme off. Uh, yes, sir, you in the back. You have a question? <coughs> so, my wife is five months pregnant, and uh, she likes those PSLs. I'm so sorry. She even makes me get them for her. That's horrible. But my question is, with her being pregnant, will my child come out to be a... Will my child come out to be a <laughs> basic <laughs> bitch? This is quite troubling, quite troubling indeed. Um, Why? Because basicness can be transferred from mother to child. Um, oh, God. Yes. <laughs> clinically, clinically, this is known as basic uterine transference, otherwise known as butt. Hey, but... <laughs> Is there a cure? There is no known cure, but limiting pumpkin spice lattes or anything pumpkin spice, uh, any romantic comedies or any Nicholas Sparks books or movies should stop, it should stop the um, growth of her basicness. Thank you. No problem. Well, on that note, why don't we just end this for today, but um, please come back next week whenever our topic is going to be thoughts. That hoe over there. <laughs> Dope or nope? Divorce. Okay, who's divorce? Ours. What? It's just that lately I feel like you're smothering me and... Uh, Wait, uh, what? Well, it all started the other day when we were in the car. And we were sitting really close, and you held my hand. What, uh, Rosalind? That's when it all started. What? Uh, that was this morning. What? I held your hand this morning. Wait, what? We got married this morning. Oh, Clyde. Uh, are you saying that we're, g after I spent all that money on a, on a wedding and, 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 and on a honeymoon? Oh, I know. I should have told you sooner. But uh, yeah, you, you, you should have told me. But, but then we wouldn't need a divorce. What? what? Well, I've been wanting one for a while. Wh what? A while, yes. A while? Yeah. Why didn't you just break up with me? Well, because you needed me. What? You needed me to get to the rough patch. Wait, what? What rough patch? When your mom's bird died. But Carlos died? Yes, and she kept calling and calling and calling. Like, God, I get it. It's dead. I well, get it. Why didn't you tell me? <sighs> It was right before your fertility treatment, and I didn't want any outside uh, Wait, uh, wait, wait, uh, what? Fertility treatment? What? I'm pregnant. What? Well, you're pregnant? Yeah. Is that what this is about? You mean I'm going to be a daddy? What? Is that why you're upset? You think you're afraid that I might leave you? No, 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 honey. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a loving, loving father to our bundle of joy. The baby's not yours. I want a divorce. Exactly. Watch something on TV. Um, I have Netflix. Uh, sure. Do you have anything in mind? Um, no. Would you like to ask Max? Okay. All right. Get the Max with Netflix. <laughs> hey there. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm sure you've been busy. I've got a lot going on too. Well, I'm feeling lucky. What do you say to watching Fuck Her Right in the Pussy? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. It's not like I watch that kind of yeah. stuff. Um, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. We'll just watch this show, the next one. <laughs> oh, I guess somebody's not getting laid tonight. <laughs> well, how about answering a few questions so you can get me on the right track? Which do you prefer, the Fast and the Furious or Pretty Woman? Pretty fast and the Furious, the Fast. Okay. Great choice. What are you in the mood for? More romantic or more comedy? Oh, comedy for sure. Okay. <laughs> Looking for a few laughs, eh? <laughs> I'll keep it light. Here's my first pick. Sperm Gully. Oh my god, no. This thing must be broken. I don't know how it works that way. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about one of the classics then? The Baby Slitters Club. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Absolutely not. <laughs> 
not into the classics, eh? Hmm. Okay, well, how about my personal favorite, Cunt Dracula? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how many more I can uh, take. Yeah, let's, we'll just do one more. Okay. Okay. This is my last pick. Post-mortem pussy plunderers. <laughs> yes. McGill. <laughs> we interrupt your regular programming to bring you a news break breaking news alert. There has been a bear spotted in the vicinity the vicinity of 6 North Street and Beach Boulevard. The Florida Wildlife Commission has advised local residents to please not approach the bear. It seems to be very disoriented and his behavior is very unpredictable. We go now to Stone Bridges, who is live from Jacksonville Beach. Stone. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> I'm here in Jacksonville Beach with Florida Wildlife Commissioner Officer Slocum. Officer Slocum, could you please tell us what would attract the bear of, of the kind that we're talking about here to the Jacksonville Beach area? Oh, well, this bear is definitely attracted to the cooler temperatures and humidity of the beaches of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, <laughs> And, um, of course, Fashion Week is over in Bryant Park. So uh, Manhattan and Fire Island doesn't appeal to this type of bear anymore. <laughs> Officer, could you tell us, uh, perhaps some of our residents, what, what they should clear their yards of in order to uh, detract the bear? Oh, very good question, very good question. This is a slow-moving bear. So we recommend everyone within a five mile radius to check your cars, yards, pools, spas, and lounges for any shiny objects. Uh, vodka tonics, unopened beers, um, anything leather and flannel apparel. Wow, that's quite a list. Uh, Officer, I understand that you've also brought a sketch yes, of the bear and what we should be on the lookout for yep. here today. I wow. I drew that myself. <laughs> That's quite a bear. We, we wouldn't want to tangle with that, <laughs> officer. We, we also have here today an eyewitness who had an awkward encounter with the bear. Ma'am, what is your name, please? My name is Michelle Davidson, and my boyfriend and I saw the bear. <laughs> and could you please describe what happened, exactly what you saw? Yes, well, we were spending some time outside because the weather this year is just so perfect. Um, <laughs> And, and he had just tapped his keg of pumpkin brew uh, craft beer, and I was getting ready to read my fall issue of Vogue. And so we stepped inside to get some citronella candles, and when we came back out, the bear had our beers. It had one in each hand. Well, well I screamed, and that startled the bear, and it took off, and it grabbed my book magazine, I bastard! Uh, Ma'am, we're live on the air. I, I don't care. I've been waiting all week to read it. It had 500 pages. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We urge you to stay indoors and bring in all fashion magazines and pumpkin homebrews. Back to you, Jill. Thank you, Stone. We will bring you any updates as we receive them. Thank you, and good night. Miriam? Yes. Miriam, yes. put the tablecloth on straight. Do you know what straight means? The opposite of crooked. Um, um, so when's the, the birthday boy get here? He should be here in about 20 minutes, but we have a lot to do before then. I just sent Johnny out to get the balloons. What is taking him so long? Stan, Stan, when you finish with that over there, I need you to go to the garage and get the pinata. There's also a sign that says, happy birthday, Russell. Get that too. Hi, honey. <laughs> I, I, I got the balloons. <laughs> what, what, where would you like them? What are those? What, 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 do, you, what do you mean? What, what are these are the balloons. Uh, you told me to get the balloons. I got the balloons. So where, where would you like them? <laughs> those are not our balloons. What, what, what do you mean they're not our balloons? Of course they're our balloons. I wouldn't. I got them. Where, where would you like me to place them? Those <laughs> are not our balloons. 
Look around. Look around. What do you see? What 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 what, what do you mean? What do I see? I, I I don't know. I don't. I'm pretty sure I'm speaking English. Okay. okay. Look at the tablecloth. Mm -hmm. The yeah. cake. Yeah. The favors. Uh, the cups. Uh -huh. What color are they? Uh, the, well, uh, the, the, they're red and the, the, they're blue and the, the, the primary red. colors. Pri pri primary. They are primary. bold, uh -huh. strong yeah, sure. primary yeah. colors. Okay. Now okay. I need you to look at the balloons. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, well, they're, they're they're a little bit lighter, but 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 we can still use them here. I'll, I'll just put them what in the bag. What happened at Publix? Uh, 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 what did you say to them? I I, I just said I I, I I I needed the balloons and 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 they gave me the balloons. So 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 I said I I I'm here to pick up the balloons for Russell. <laughs> and, and they gave me the balloons. But I gave them my name. I didn't give them Russell's name. <laughs> yeah, you know, that, 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 that must have been a mistake. That must have been a mistake. They must have thought that it was for the, the, the Russell family. But, but hey, we got some balloons. I can just put them right How here in the back. How much did you pay for them? Uh-huh. Uh, 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 they were they were free. They just gave them to me. What? I, 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 they, they no, 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 no. I ordered them over the phone. I didn't pay for them. Oh, well, 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 hey, look at this. We we got some balloons for free. I, I, yeah, I, I'll just put them in the back here. You are an idiot. Okay. How did I end up marrying you? I had so many opportunities. Oh, no, no, well, no, well, listen, let's, let's not over-dramatize things. Quiet. I got, okay, all right. I so. am thinking of every mistake that has led me to this moment. Oh, 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 sweetie, it's not that bad. I can just put them in the back. They can hide there. Oh, Miriam, 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 Miriam. Listen, look, wh what do you think about these balloons? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? You cunt. Hey, Stan, Stan, buddy. What, 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 do you, what, what do you think about these balloons? Please, please, please. Your balloons and you are fucked. No, 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 no. I'm not taking them back. <laughs> you are going to take them back. Because if you don't, I'm going to take this kidney, I'm going to slit open your gut, I'm going to pull out your internal organs, I'm going to throw them in the blender, and I'm going to press puree. Okay. No problem. I can't find the ice cream. Is it in the freezer? Oh, it's in the second freezer in the garage. Oh. Fast. It was incredible. Yes. I was at Publix at the balloon station, and I just mentioned your name, and holy shit, they just put the balloons together, tied them up, and gave them to me. No problem. <laughs> oh, great job, honey. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're a, you're a frightening woman, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, should, I, should I sleep with one eye open? <laughs> kill you, it would be in some slow and painful way, and I would watch. I'd keep that eye open tonight if I were you, buddy. <laughs> no shit. Anger. This is your house. This is your car. This is your toothbrush. These are your things, but these are the things that matter. Somewhere in between is this guy. Introducing Jibo, the world's first family robot. Say hello, Jibo. Hello, Jibo. <laughs> Jibo is the family companion that does all the work for you. Excuse me, ma'am, but your daughter will be here to pick you up in 30 minutes. Thanks, Jibo. And Jibo is the best at doing the things you hate, like taking group photos. Now you'll learn to love our newest model in our robot family. Introducing Jibo Unchained. To you. Oh, Jibo, take the picture. Bitch, you got arms? Yes. Do you have legs? Yes. Sounds to me like you can take the picture your damn self. Jibo Unchained makes life more interesting. Jibo, could you give me an update on my finances? 
You rich, bitch. You got a robot doing shit for you. Thanks, Jibo. Jibo will teach your children important lessons. Tell me a story, Jibo. Child, my name is Jibo. But it's spelled D apostrophe J I B O. The D is silent, like your little ass should be. Oh. <laughs> well, well, tell me a story. The fuck I look like. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was this beautiful robot. What was her name? If you shut the fuck up, I'll tell you. <laughs> Her name was Eva. And then this white trash talking motherfucker came and stole her away from your main man, Jibo. And what did Jibo teach you about stealing? Oh, 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 oh. Stealers is worse than squealers, but, but snitches get stitches and Jibo ain't no snitch. You damn skip. Uh, uh, wh what'd you do, Jibo? Nothing. Oh, well, that's a shitty story, Jibo. Well, you're an ungrateful little ass bitch who need to go to fuck to sleep. Oh, Jibo, <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Jibo Unchained, keeping the modern American family in check since 2014. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yelp.com. Real people, real reviews. Um, no. <laughs> First of all, the service, not very good. Well, the waitress was nice, but the hostess was not. The wine, old and stale. Completely overrated and pretentious, and I lived in L.A. for 22 years, so that ought to tell you something. <laughs> the portion size? the size of my hand, my hand, and I'm a girl, <laughs> petite I am, size of my hand for the entree. Nobody came back to check on us. It was overpriced. The food was not terrible, and it was excited. I was so excited to try it all, but it just wasn't up to par from what all the other reviews said. I just don't get it. No, thank you. Misty S. Hawker's Asian Street Fair. Oh! Fuck yeah! Did you bring the check? Yes. And a case of apricot brandy. Two cases. And dinner when you land. Hey, Chief, try some of this. I made it myself. Here's to drinking, here's to swimming with bow legged women. <laughs> Now, Mr. Quint, I have to explain something to you. Now, the town of Amity doesn't have a lot of money for this shark hunting business. So we had to raise the money. And the way that we raised the money was we invited the high school musical theater kids along as a team building exercise. Their parents were willing to pay for the experience. Chief. I'm not talking about pleasure boating or day sailing. I'm talking about working for a living. I'm talking about sharking. I'm not taking no kitties out on my boat. I ain't a asking. I'm a teller. It's my charter. It's my part. All right, Chief. We'll take them along for ballast. But it's my vessel. 
And when you're on my vessel, make, master, pilot, I'm the captain. And you got it. All right, kids. Come on. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me. <laughs> oh, what is that smell? Uh, oh I thought we were having croissants and mimosas. Ew, is that fish guts? Oh, <laughs> so good. No. no. Oh, here, here, here. here, stop. I hope you puke. Now, kids, let's get serious here. Today, we're headed on a boat trip. <gasps> like Pirates of Penzance? Or South Pacific? By Titanic! Oh, I, I hope someone dies for me. Oh, she could have got him off that door. No! Today, we're going to be hunting a deadly man-eating shark. I thought Sally Simmons was the only man-eating shark in this town. Oh, oh no, he did it. Oh, no, he did it. No, yes, he burn. did. I did. I went there. Yes. Okay. Let's get to it. You there. Tie me a sheep shank. You want me to tie up a sheep with this? What am I going to do with the sheep afterward? God only knows. I want you to tie me a sheep shank knot. Well, I can't tie any knots, but oh, I can make a really fashionable belt. Yeah, yeah, urban outfitters. And we can make handcuffs. Look at oh, that. Fifty Shades of Grey. Give me your hands. <laughs> These are jazz hands. They are. No, but they are. They've been doing Bob Fosse all your life. They have. You notice them. You notice them. Chief, I'm not taking these honey buns out to sea. No. Hear that, gang? A one, a two, a one, two, three. A hundred and one pounds of fun. That's my little honey bun. Get a load of honey bun tonight. Okay. Yeah. So, so, on. so, so good. Good. Kids, so on. kids, let's get serious now. Now, Gary, stop fucking with the rope. Go see if the shark cage is still on the boat. Why wouldn't it be on the boat? Go it's see. Okay, it's still there. It's there. It's, it's there. there. Yeah, I saw it too. Cage? What goes in the cage? You or the shark? <laughs> Me and the kids. It's part of the team building exercise. You go in the cage. Yeah. Cage goes in the water. Yeah. Sharks in the water. Yeah. Our shark. Yeah. Farewell and adieu to ye fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to ye ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail off to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. Ladies and Gary, you remember this from the District Sea Shanty Festival in Gainesville. <laughs> Those bitches from Episcopal got a superior with it. Five, six, seven, eight. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you, ladies of Spain. Jesus, Jesus H. Christ. I've heard enough. Chief, daylight's a wasted. We need to take these kitties out and feed them to the shark. Oh, you there. Rude. Front, bow. Back, stern. If you get it wrong, squirt, I throw your ass out that little round window on the side. <laughs> Does that mean he thinks I'm skinny if I can oh fix you? Yes. Oh yes. yes, yes, squirt. All right, ladies, come on. Now remember, this is your last chance to be true seamen. Let's have some fun this weekend. Let's see. We could go to the arts market. Yes. God, not again. <laughs> OK. We could go to the beach. Oh, yes. no, not the beach. Just kill me now. <laughs> All right. What about a movie date? Oh, yes. the worst idea of all of them. Why was I cursed with you as 
What do you want to do, Connor? Mom, you know what I want to do? John. Look. Dad, I want to go to Disney. <sighs> Disney costs more than your life. Just so you can ride some rides. When you go, you sell your soul to Disney Jews. I want to go. Will you take me? Indiana Jones, they are closing next week. If we don't go, you don't take me. I'll disown no, you no. both in a very harsh tweet. Let's all go, let's all go. I can't listen to him gripe anymore. Let's all go. going? Shut the fuck okay. up about it. You guys are really abusive parents. Get your ass in the car. I'm trying, gosh. This is what happens when condom breaks. The window won't open, nor the door. I told you not to fart in here anymore. My God, what did you eat? Some rotten eggs. Last night's dinner not sitting well. I told you we shouldn't have ate at Taco Bell. I knew I'd be paying for it today. Just pull over at the rest stop. It's starting to smell real strange. I'm not enjoying this stinky exchange. This is taking damn forever. Like sitting at red light. Oh, excuse me, this is a BW This is taking. Damn forever. We need to get there before night. Sit down. I'm sorry that my stomach's so gassy, but I see the parking zone. Hallelujah. That car ride was forever. But now we're in Mickey's home. <laughs> All right, don't forget where we parked Hooker Scar 57. Got it. Oh shit! Oh shit! The castle's over there. Hold it. In this place you don't swear. Tweet this! We must let our friends know how much fun we're having with a picture here. Tweet this! What's this? What's this? The haunted mansion's closed. What's this? Well, that really blows. What's this? The streets are lined with all the people laughing. Everybody seems so happy. How can anyone feel crappy? What's this? Oh shit. I forgot about the long line and the prices of the food that really can start putting you in such a foul mood. There's lots of things to look at and there's even more to ride. Let's just go see a show and see the AC's on inside. Oh look, it's only 20 minutes from Mount Everest. Let's go into that. That's not even at this park. <sighs> Why did I wear black? You are black. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Let's just try to get to the fans over there. We're not gonna make it. Just cut in line. They just did. With as long as I've stood here, I've got aggression. We're never gonna get on this ride. Yeah, sorry. Did you see that cast member's expression? Oh, it means the line's going to expand. And we're stuck here in retention. I told you we should have got magic bands. Don't bring it here. So prepare for the weight of a lifetime. Double! 
beautiful feature. I know we are bored, but we'll be rewarded when at last this line comes to an end. Yes, our wait time has come to an end. 20, 20, 20. I'm a stab a bitch. Damn magic band. I swear to God, I'm going to kill someone. Please don't kill someone. Hey, over there, how many? There's two green. Oh, three. Black on me, my husband. You're in yes. lane two. Oh. Stow your bag. Do not lag. Oh. All feet and hands inside. Reach up, pull down. It's fun. Don't frown. You're gonna love this ride. The Yeti, he will be tearing up tracks now. That doesn't sound good. You're perplexed. Do not fret the tracks you won't need. Okay. All right. Wait! Huh? It seems that the Yeti is being temperamental. Please stand by while our Imagineers calm him down. Oh, boy. Code 101, guys. You gotta Code be shitting me. Ah! No! Is she gonna get us out of here? Wait, there's a button. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. All right. All right. Are we hungry? I'm hungry. I think we're hungry. Yeah. Let's go to Epcot. They have alcohol. Woo! Wait, no, I want to go to Bell's Castle. Fuck Bell's Castle. But it's French. Who cares? Lay fuck Bell's Castle then. That's better. <laughs> That's a little better. But I heard, I heard it's a really good dining experience. Fine. 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 And we'll do what he wants. We got to go to another park. Okay. okay. I'm thirsty. <laughs> they have tea and stuff. I wanted a boat. You wanted a kid. Yes, in the line, and do not stress to pick your line. food in about an hour. But an hour? Too small to devour. We move fast, we move quick. An There's no fast. need to be a dick. I'm not being a Everyone dick, I'm hungry. Everyone will get served real fast. Kick that guy out, he's no, a no, real ass. No, 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 it's always it's the not guy. hot. Now I've lost my train of thought. Eat it up, here There's come two families of ten. I don't know. I've got a lot to do. That kid's about to spew. Please, next longer. guest. If you're stressed, Disney Dining Voice of Justice. Please, next guest. Please, next guest. Please, next guest. Um, ma'am, our food. Wait. Food. Our, Wait. our food. Bell's Castle is French. I made a mistake. I made okay. one, too. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go see the parade. Yeah, let's go. I don't want. Let's go. A parade. It's got fireworks at the end. Come on. But hey, buddy, 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 buddy. What the hell? Uh, uh. Dazzle you with fireworks. No other parks compare. Universal can't compete. There's show slain over there. It's gonna be the main event, like none you've seen before. We pack the streets, there's no more room. Get ready to be floored. It's going to be the most inspiring thing. That's it. I am so sorry. Don't ever let me pick things to do with our family, okay? I'm so sorry. I wanted a boat. You wanted a kid. 